Hi everybody, it's Miss LJ and I have Blue's Big Parade to read with you today because one of my favorite seasons is summer. And what is better to do in summer than a big parade with all of your friends? This book is written by Justin Spelvin and illustrated by Ian Chernikov. And let's settle in and check it out. Summer had arrived. And Blue and her friends were all excited about the town's big summer celebration. I have an idea to make this the best summer celebration ever, Blue told her friends. We could have our very own parade. Great idea, Blue, said Joe excitedly. Everyone loves a parade. Perry, perfect, but there's so much to do, said Periwinkle. I know, how can we do it all, Blue answered cheerfully. We can all work together. They all agreed to get started first thing the next morning. The next day, Tickety brought out the calendar. The celebration is on Saturday and today is Monday. That means we have five days until our summer parade. First, we need some instruments, Blue said to her friends. But where can we find instruments, said Mr. Salt. Look out, warned Mrs. Pepper, but it was too late. Mr. Salt bumped into a pot on the counter. It fell to the floor with a clang. Hey, said Blue, that gives me an idea. What do you guys think she's thinking about? <gasps> we can use pots and pans as our instruments, Blue suggested. So they each grabbed a pot or a pan and gave it a bang with a spoon. The kitchen filled with the sound of all their bang, bang, banging. All together now, cheered Mrs. Pepper and they each banged to a rhythm. We sound like a real marching band, Periwinkle called over the drumming. At the end of the day, Tickety crossed off Monday from the calendar. Five minutes, one leaves, five minus one leaves four days left. Today, we can make floats, Blue announced the next morning. All good parades have floats, Magenta agreed, but how will we make them? Just then, Green Puppy pulled in a wagon full of supplies. Hey, I've got it, Magenta exclaimed. Wagons, Magenta said. We can use wagons to make the floats. Yeah, said Blue. Wagons are just what we need. And I have, and I have cardboard, cloth, and ribbons to help build them, Green Puppy added. For the rest of the afternoon, Blue and her friends had a terrific time turning three regular wagons into three terrific summertime floats. Three days left. What would you guys put on a summer float? I like the sun. Maybe beach stuff or big green leaves or uh, fireworks. All good stuff for summer. Why don't you think about that a little bit? Let's get party hats to wear the, to the parade, Joe suggested the next day. But where will we find party hats? Asked Purple Kangaroo. Maybe we could decorate our own party hats, Blue said. Yeah, we could put our favorite things about summer on them. Magenta suggested, and they'll be super duper summer hats, Joe agreed. So they will all, so they all cut and taped and showed off their favorite things about summer. What are their favorite things? I see ice cream, pretty clouds, a beach ball, the sun, seashells. It's kind of what we talked about before. Two more days. The next morning, Everyone was excited about marching practice, except things didn't go well at all. March left, said March leader Blue, but everyone marched to the right. Now march right, called Blue, but everyone marched to the left. Now stop, Blue shouted, but the back of the line kept going and everyone fell in a big pile. That wasn't Perry perfect, said a nervous Periwinkle. Don't worry, said Blue, we just need more practice. That is correct. We still have one more day left. The next day, marching went better. Just follow along, Blue called out to the group. Left, right, left, right. They followed. Left, right, left, right. 
and soon enough they were marching together. We're doing it, said Periwinkle happily. That's great, cheered Blue. Now let's bang our drums. They banged in time and marched all around the backyard. Tomorrow is the big day. Happy summertime, Blue and her friends cheered as they marched down the street the next day. They banged their drums and waved to the happy crowd. The parade was a big hit. Blue led them all over town. The crowd whistled, cheered, and applauded. It was the perfect way to celebrate summer. That night, the whole town watched as fireworks lit up the sky. Happy summer, Blue, Joe said. Happy summer, everyone, Blue answered happily. Wow, what a great way to celebrate summer. What's your favorite way to celebrate your favorite season? Because there are all sorts of fun things to do all year long. I want you to think about that and go outside and have a good day.